and welcome to China Media Stars. I'm Wina Li. Today I have uh, Michael Rosenfeld with me. Uh, welcome to the show, Michael. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wayne. It's a pleasure to be here today. <laughs> Thank you. So Michael is the president of QX Media. Uh, Michael, why don't we start with a bit introduce introduction about yourself, where are you from, and, and you, what have you been doing before QX Media? Sure, my pleasure. <laughs> Well, I, uh, I'm from the United States, and I was a lawyer for many years. I worked eight years for the United States Department of Justice, and then I moved to a small country called Palau, uh -huh. where I served as both the special prosecutor and the minister of justice for four years, which is a tremendously exciting position and opportunity. Um, and I really love the practice of law, but when I finished that position, I decided that I wanted to do something that I had always hoped to do in my life, which was uh, do something involved in business. I also okay. wanted to be in Asia because there are so many fantastic opportunities here and I really enjoy the culture. So in 2005, I moved to China to be CEO for a cosmetics company called Daylight International USA. Okay. And I was with that company for about three years and at the same time I was learning more about the culture here in China, learning a little bit about the language and having many, many opportunities. And then starting about two years ago, I started working with my partner, Yvonne uh, Ye Ching, and we have had some really exciting opportunities in media, producing videos, websites, brochures, and anything related to media production. Uh, in addition to that, I also do some acting and modeling here in, oh, wow. in China. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing a lot of things, lawyer and then management and now you're doing acting as well. Now, yes. Which one do you enjoy most? Well, I'll tell you there's um, a lot of things I really like about the practice of law. It's yeah. very, very enjoyable. And uh, I did that for almost 20 years. And I had a very, very successful career. That's neat. But I always wanted to do acting and modeling and produce a movie. Okay. So oh, wow. now I'm getting the opportunity that I've thought about for many, many years. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that, <laughs> and it's something that I really never thought I'd have the opportunity to do, but here I am, and uh, pursuing my dreams. <laughs> Your dreams yeah. come true. My yeah. other <laughs> dreams, yeah. <laughs> Apart from, you yeah. know, professional yeah. lawyer. Yeah. 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 So what is it about China that attracts you? Why did you come to China to pursue your career? Hmm. Well, I actually came to China because of the job opportunity right. that I had with uh, Daylight International. I'd actually, before that time, never really thought about coming to China. Okay. Uh, I hadn't studied about China, hadn't learned the language uh, until that time. At the point that I was growing up in the United States, there were very limited opportunities to learn about China and study the language in the United States. And of course, over the past 20 years, as China has grown and become such an incredible economic power, there are many more courses offered and many more opportunities. But at the time that I was growing up, I, that was not the, um, the push that I had from my parents. Uh, right. yeah. <laughs> so then, of course, as things changed in the world and China became such an exciting opportunity, when yeah. I was offered this by daylight, I thought, wow, what a fantastic way to <laughs> start my career in business and also be in Asia in such a fast-paced, exciting city like Shanghai. So it was a great choice. Yeah, so great opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So uh, QX Media, uh, what, what does QX Media do? Can you explain a little bit yeah. to our audience? Sure. Um, Qingqing Media is a full-service media production company uh, engaged in the production of all sorts of media and marketing materials. So we're involved, of course, uh, very much with the production of promotional videos and anything related to video production, uh, like events. We also do everything else that would be media related or marketing related, such as uh, marketing materials like brochures and flyers um, and uh, branding, visual identity systems, uh, anything that a company might want to market and advertise their business. Uh, one of the things that we have as a great advantage is because we have both uh, local domestic Chinese and we also have foreigners working at the company, we have a good and broad understanding of uh, both cultures. Yeah, so a lot of our clients are looking for somebody who can give them advice about what they can do to market, say, outside of China or for foreign companies to market inside of China. So we do have that advantage of being able to give them some advice about how they can better market their materials, either 
domestic companies outside of China or foreign companies within China. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And so what are the exciting projects you're working on at the moment? Well, actually, we are now involved with three medical-related projects. All so right. one is a, a website creation for a biopharmaceutical company, a very a rather large biopharmaceutical company, which is doing some very exciting research and soon will be producing some really new and unique um, uh, products for the market. So we're very excited about working with this client. And that's a website product which will also have video involved in it. We're also working with a, uh, a, a government organization here okay. in Shanghai which provides free um, information and services relating to uh, advice about health issues. So it's a medical hotline and people can call up. So we're providing them right now some uh, training materials which are both written, audio, and video. And we're excited about that project also. And then lastly, we're working on a project for medical tourism here in Shanghai uh -huh. um, and in greater China. So we've produced a video for them which is going to uh, be shown uh, in a few weeks and we're very, very excited about the opportunity to do all those three projects. We hope that in the future we'll be able to do more medical projects because of now um, our growing knowledge and expertise in that area. Mm, definitely, it sounds yeah. very exciting. And I hope the project goes well. Thank you. <laughs> so you were working in the US as a lawyer, then you moved to Palau and now China. So it must be you know, so different culturally as working environment and everything. I mean, what are the differences for you in terms of your life and in work? Yeah. Well, you know, all three countries, Palau, America, the United States, fantastic places that I really enjoy working and being a part of. Each one of them is so extremely different. Mm -hmm. um, Palau is one of the most beautiful countries in the world, very small population, only about 20,000 people, oh, very okay. limited opportunities in terms of you know, what you can do in terms of business. Uh, of course, I was a lawyer there at the time, but the, it's just an extraordinary place and people should get the opportunity if they can to go there and dive. It's, really exceptional. Wow. Um, China provides so many opportunities, especially in media and especially for me at this time in my career. It's really, really fantastic. And I uh, love the United States, which of course is my home country, and I really enjoy practicing law there. So each one of them has their own distinct advantages, and uh, I've enjoyed very much living in each one of them during those times. They're obviously all, all quite different. Um, and I feel really fortunate that I've had the opportunity for different experiences in the three different countries. So China seems the right place for you now at the moment. Well, <laughs> at, at this time, uh, it is really fantastic for me to be here in China because of the opportunities, especially with media. I don't think there are many other places that could <laughs> match or be better than China at this time. So what is it special about Chinese media? I mean, since you worked with QS Media, um, you have more connection with the industry. What do you like the most about media? Um. Well, I love the fact that with media, you can have a vision about something, and then you can share that vision with other people in, in a visual way. So as a lawyer, when you want to make a, you know, present some sort of concept, it's usually through words or a brief. Sometimes you have your, your evidence there. But with media, you can have this whole fascinating, interesting concept, and you can present it in a visual way that everybody can understand. So I love that opportunity <laughs> in media, which is very exciting. And of course, I, I would at some point love to start producing and making movies. So I think that that will be an opportunity that will be easier for me to pursue in China than it probably would in, in other places, especially now because I'm working with Ching Ching Media, which is such a fantastic organization. Definitely, definitely. So you want to move from, you know, uh, as an actor to behind the scene to work as a, to make your own film. Well, I love doing in both. The future. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to that. Thanks. Them. I hope I continue to have the opportunities to do that. <laughs> you will, definitely. QX Media is definitely doing very successful right now. So how do you see it going in the next, say, three years? Which direction would that be going? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're very, very happy with our presently how we're operating QXM. Our clients are very satisfied with our products. We have the opportunity to be very hands-on, which we enjoy. Um, I think that in the future, hopefully, as I said before, if we gain more expertise in the medical field, we'll be getting more medical products uh, mm -hmm. and projects. 
which will be fantastic for us because it's such a growing sector of business here Thank in China you. and throughout the world. Um, but I'd like to continue to improve my abilities uh, in media and I'd like for the company to grow um, a little bit, but probably not that large. We're rather happy with the, the small size of the company now. Um, and I just hope that in the future we're able to continue to service our clients the way that we are now, make sure that we provide them really uh, high quality, outstanding products that they're happy with. And if we can do that, then I'll be very satisfied with the direction of the company. Um, of course, we want to continue to innovate the way we do things. There's new technologies all the time coming on the market, so we have to be aware of those. We have to utilize those um, as they fit our clients' needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, anything that we can do to make the uh, QXM a company that really services its clients, we will continue to do in the future. Okay, thank you. So for the people who would like to join media to explore the industry, do you have any tips for them? How yeah. to be successful in this industry? <laughs> well, I think that uh, anyone who has a real interest and a deep passion for any profession can be very, very successful. I think that that's really critically important. It's about producing something, creating something that you really care about. And if somebody cares about it, then they're going to spend a lot of time in it, they're going to be interested in it, and they're going to try to learn. So obviously, if they can do some work, even if it's volunteer work with companies that are producing good quality products and they're able to learn from those people, that's fantastic. Um, in my case, I feel that one of the advantages that, that we have at QXM Media is that we have a, uh, both foreigners and Chinese that work together. Um, we all listen to each other's concepts, um, so I think that having an open mind is really going to be important. Also, I have experience in other fields. So that gives me a great opportunity when I'm servicing a client to kind of understand what that client needs so that I can help our clients get their vision onto film or into a brochure so it really can express mm -hmm. what they want their clients to know what their business is all about. Definitely. Thank you for the advice. They're really helpful. <laughs> Thank you for joining our show today, Michael. <laughs> this is Wena. I um, hope to see you again next time. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.